All right, folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. We've gotten our reactor done, which you can see back there in the background. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and start the radiator system that's going to mount to the bed rails of this truck. We're going to use what you see here in front of you, plus a couple extra things. As I find them and as I uh, come across those parts in the project, I'll show you that. But for right now, this is the main big piece. This is to start out with. Uh, this is a square stock chunk from a bumper of a RV or a trailer there that I tore off. That's going to give us a nice big chunk of square stock. We've got two 20-foot sections of that white pipe there. That's going to, each section is going to be cut into four chunks, four five-foot long chunks. Uh, and those will weld into the square stock here, which I'll show you. We've got our black iron pipe here, which we'll use later in the project. I'll show you that later. Uh, so the first steps, what I'm going to do is mark that big square stock piece into four even sections. And then go ahead and cut those out. I'm also going to take my first section of 20 foot pipe there and I'm going to mark that into four even sections and I'm going to cut that out. And we're going to go ahead and weld together one side of this uh, condenser radiator system. Uh, at the bottom of this I'm going to weld on some flat stock on there. There will be a tube coming out the bottom, a one inch piece of black iron pipe going into collection containers like the cans we have on that project there. Collecting our bio crude. Uh, so we'll use that again. We're going to put that by our exhaust hopefully and be able to convert that in back into the engine. Uh, so let me go ahead and get going. I'll cut some pieces up here and show you what we've got after that. Alright folks, Mr. Teslonian here. want to take you through one of our first condenser radiator systems here. You'll notice the slope to the pipes. I told you I was going to cut that big piece of square stock into four equal sections. There's two of those sections right there. And then I took one of those 20 foot long pieces of pipe and I cut it into four equal pieces. And that gave me four five foot long chunks. And you'll notice what I'm trying to show you here in our design is how this radiator system is going to look. They're not going to be straight pipes. They're actually going to be sloping. This will allow for a couple different things. First of all, once again, like the video for the bio crude. Let me see if I can get my hand set up here, right? The smoke actually writing, let's say that's on the top up there. Okay, the smoke actually traveling down that wants to go uphill and so by pushing that downhill we're actually forcing the smoke into the pipe constantly. The heat's hitting the pipe, that's actually going to help us condensate out a lot of the bio crude. It will also give us a couple extra things here. You'll notice there's only three points here. Let me get the camera right here. Three points where we need to put access caps so that way we can get in there and clean these pipes instead of multiple points for each pipe. Because they're so close together at those three points I can drill on the other side and put a cap and a two inch piece of pipe there and we can actually get in there and scrub all of that clean very easily. Uh, second thing that'll happen here is I'm going to cut some baffles right now. Let me show you this piece of metal I have sitting right here. Alright so I'm going to start cutting some baffles out of this right here. And what we're going to do is on this side, we're going to only need to install one baffle. And that's going to go right here. Right between the two sections of pipe. Let me set that there so you can see. But that's going to go up inside this square section here. I'm going to cut that to fit in there. Now it doesn't need to fit perfect. In fact, you're not going to want it to. Uh, and here's why. These are not just radiators, they're condensers. And so they're condensing out the, uh, the liquids that you might gather within the pipes. That's why they're sloped. So the liquid can roll down the pipe and not sit inside of a flat pipe. So this piece right here, let's say this direction is top, that would be bottom. You want this piece in here slightly sloped downhill as your divider towards the back side. And then you're going to leave, either drill a couple half inch holes right here, or you're going to leave a bit of a gap right there. Uh, and then what that's going to do, not much, maybe about a, a quarter inch if you leave a full gap. That's all I would do, a quarter inch gap behind it right back here. Right there, you leave a quarter inch gap when this goes all the way across and it'd be slightly sloped towards that direction. And the bio crude that comes out of these two pipes will naturally hit that slope, go against your gap there and come down through and hit the bottom where we're going to collect it out of both sides of these at the bottom. Keeping the system a lot cleaner. Also, when you go to scrub them, it'll allow for a lot of that scrub down material place to come down through. So we're going to go ahead and cut a, a set of those baffles. Like I said, you only need one here. And that'll go right between these and it'll be at a slope with a little bit of a gap towards the back side. You don't want the gap at the front side, that'll put all your bio crude right in front of your pipes there. Getting more of it back into the smoke, you don't want that. So you're going to want it to run down the back side at a slight slope like that. And then over here, on the other one, this will take two baffles. One will go in right here below the, the top edge of that pipe. And that once again will slightly slope towards the back edge with a little bit of a gap. And the other one will go down right here. 
slightly sloping downhill with a little bit of a gap. So you have two baffles that you can actually reach, and these can go just above the pipe here. So you don't have to reach down in there very far. That'll give you a nice open area there where those two come together. And then you'll also have the same thing up here. And what that'll make it so the smoke has to do here is smoke will come in, have to travel our whole series of pipes. Travel back through that one, into this one, into that one, back out, and then over to the other side, which will have the exact same system over there also. So we're going to have twin systems looking just like this. So let me go ahead and get these holes right here. I'll show you what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and mark all my holes, take the hole saw, cut those all out. I'm going to set these pipes into place before making my baffles because uh, I want to see where they're going to sit, and then I can actually don't weld them in, just dry set. Then I can cut my baffles, put them in there, make sure everything looks right. Then I'm going to go ahead and tack weld everything and then final weld. So give me a moment to get that done and I'll show you where we are from there. Alright, so we've got our baffles welded into our square stock. There's the one on this side. And there's the one on this side. Alright, so that one had twin baffles. That was the design hole pattern on that one. This one here had a single baffle right there in the middle. And once again, how I did that was drilled holes on either side so that I could see the edges of it, as you can tell there, and then welded it into place from there. So if you can't get your welding head down in there, use that uh, method. So anyways, there's the pattern on the uh, holes on that side. There's just the four holes there. So we have got all our baffles into place. We're going to grind now, clean up all our edges, and we're going to weld this radiator together. So let me get that done, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, folks, we've got our first radiator built here. Uh, it's got a couple little things left to do to it, but we're not going to do those right yet until we get all the radiator system put together, and then we'll put those on uh, and interconnect them all together here. So anyways, as you can tell, I put my caps up on top of all these, welded my caps on there, so it's a fully sealed system. In fact, I got two holes I got to still put in this, both of which are going to be on this side, either right here or out of the top for our gas inlet. And then our gas output will be all the way down at the bottom next to where that lower pipe comes in. I haven't done that yet because I don't have all the radiator system built. And I want to see exactly where it's all going to sit before I drill holes. It's usually a pretty good idea to keep it so that it all turns out pretty square. So anyways, there you go. There's our first uh, bed rail radiator system done. I'm going to go ahead and get to work on the other two. Alright folks, I've got my second radiator done now. Those are bedside radiators. They're both ready to go. I'm going to finalize the mounting on the second one here. Now we're going to go ahead and start building our third radiator system. And that's going to sit right above the cab right here. Uh, it's going to come up. I'm trying to figure out exactly how high right now. I'm going to show you when I get that idea kind of more stabilized here. I want to kind of do some wind resistance things. It might be sloped slightly. Uh, I'll show you when I get there and what that looks like. But you can see right now, that's going to give us 40 feet, not including the uh, square stock, but 40 feet of the pipe here to run that gas through. And once again, because of our baffles inside of there, which you can probably see has a couple drip holes on the side there, you can see our baffles inside of there. Once again, that smoke's going to have to travel through each one of those pipes all the way through to the bottom. And that's going to make sure that it's equal pressure all the way through. If you've got one side, just a square block, another side a square block, and they're just straight tubes without baffles, smoke's going to find, obviously, the point of least resistance and probably not travel equally through all the pipes, and you're really not getting effective usage out of your pipes. So this way, we're really going to be uh, getting an effective usage out of these. Another thing we're going to do here, just a little later on, is we're going to come in right behind any one of these double sections. We're going to put probably a two-inch piece there with a cap here and there up high and down low on both of those and once again right here and that's going to allow us in a cleaning ability into those pipes and we're going to have three caps and we can basically scrub all the pipes from those three caps might go three inch we'll see what we find uh, anyways want to go ahead and show you that this is a uh, both bedside rail cooling system radiators are done now I'm going to link the two of them together through that upper radiator that's actually going to be the linking system it's actually going to come out of the gasifier into our water bath, up into the radiator above the cab, which is going to be up and down tubes, condenser radiator. It's going to go across into this one, go all the way back and forth, come across out of the bottom, crisscross back up to the top, do this all over again, come out of there, into our hay filter, and off into the truck. 
So there you go. I thought I'd share that with you. Let me get going on the third radiator and I'll show you what we've decided from there.